on the night of Chloe holding a party in celebration of Tristan, Tristan got a girl pregnant. It all leaks and the girls are shocked. Beloveds, we are gathered here again today. We are gathered here again today. Welcome everybody, come and sit down, grab your snacks, your drinks. We are gathered here again today. I know this is probably the fifth or sixth time that we are gathered here in relation to this topic, but you know, yeah. Hey guys, it's Rob Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel, consistent and persistent injected. And let's get straight into this video. So, you know, it's been emerged in the latest episode that, you know, Tristan, who was caught cheating, he did so on the day that there was a party held for him by Chloe. And, you know, all of this information is coming out. And, you know, he wrote a whole declaration towards Chloe saying that he wants to marry her, be with her, you know, submit to her, commit to her and all of this nonsense. But of course, none of this, of course, took place. His whole declaration is in this thing, which says I slept with her. It's his whole thing saying I, Tristan Thompson, met this girl in Houston. I slept with her on my 38th birthday. So I sent it to him and I said, does Chloe know about this? Chloe doesn't even know. So all the girls, of course, found out when it comes to the situation um, and they were quite upset by it. Um, Kylie was said that Tristan is the worst person on the planet. Kim was literally shaking like this. She wasn't able to record or know anything. Chloe, Chloe was sleeping at this time. Hi. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. And I don't, I'm like shaking for her. My, my soul kills, dies for her. No, she's not awake. And what's so crazy is he wrote a whole, whole declaration. Let me read this to you. And then it cuts off as Chloe is, you know, packing up the bag. So it seems that a lot is about to take place when it comes to the next episode. I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. I don't have any empathy for Chloe. For me once, shame on you. For me twice, shame on me. You know, you've allowed this man, you want this man to commit to you and write a declaration to marry you and you're believing it and you're going to get married to him knowing that he's already cheated on you multiple times, but yet you still want to take a ring and be married to this godforsaken fool. You are also a godforsaken fool. Why would you do that? Arrest them both. PC Billy. PC Billy. I just arrest them both. Every day they want to drive to the library. Take them both to the damn prison. And now they're all shocked. Kylie's dragging him. Tri Kim's dragging him. So this is paperwork that he's filed that says the only time I had intercourse with Petitioner, which is the girl, was in March 2021 in Houston, Texas. Petitioner claims she is pregnant with my child and that she is due December 3rd. However, Petitioner does not recall when I had sex intercourse with her. Therefore, I do not know if the claims that I am the father of the child are supported by facts. All, all of the girls are dragging him. They are so upset by this. They, they feel so sad for her. History is repeating itself because you have not changed your environment. Very similar to a scenario of somebody who's getting an abused environment, you are going to continue to get abused unless you change that environment. Easier said than done, obviously, but you need to change the people around you. Otherwise, the reactions, the consequences, the feelings, the emotions they're all going to be the same. And this, of course, I feel is a big issue because, you know, Chloe doesn't really understand this and I don't have any empathy for her. Yes, she's left the man now and, of course, they just, you know, cohabitate to an extent. But my, my man is at every single family function and I wouldn't be surprised if they get together again at, at the end of this year because he's been single and good this year. Like, I just don't understand. So the girls are really upset and shocked by it. The fact that he did all this on the night that he was held a party, a... Chloe gave him a party in celebration of him. He wrote a declaration towards her and then he's out here getting another um, girl pregnant. And the gag is Chloe wanted a boy, but instead of giving Chloe a boy, he gave a random woman a boy. He's asking for a paternity test and admitting that he had sex with her. Chloe threw him his 30th birthday. So she, he went home from the 30th birthday party, went to Houston to play on the road. We can check his schedule and then slept with this girl. That stings like no other. And now they're both going to be connected true and this child because of course they are siblings. I don't know what this man, um, I don't know what Chloe's 
doing and now that she's left him she's out here running on the streets reports saying allegedly with trey songs so i don't know what that's even more of a mess about because because considering that trey songs is an absolute weirdo of a man um i just think that she needs to be single for a while because she keeps putting herself in these potholes unfortunately hi hi did you see what i sent you no hang on what the f is this and of course this entire episode has come out and the next episode seems that's going to be even more worse but they all assume it's a lie, they don't believe it, they're shocked by it. I think all the other girls are just as dumb, to be honest with you, because how can you not believe this when you know that this man has continuously cheated on her multiple times? Why would you not expect this to be true, that he got somebody else pregnant? Why would you expect this not to not be true? And then they put out that dumb story to admit it and say sorry to Chloe publicly because the paternity test came back. I just don't think he needs to be at the functions, but he's at every function. But like, how low is your life that you have to use him for a storyline because you've got, you've got nothing else going on? So you're using a man to cheat on you and using that as your storyline. How low have you How low have you gone? I do think Chloe is at fault. Um, not for the cheating, obviously, but for remaining with this man and it's, it's been the third or fourth time. Um, but of course, I believe she's ended it with him, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're secretly dating again because right before he cheated, they were meant to get married. She was engaged. And he was telling her to take the baby away. You still, you wanted, you wanted to marry this man, even though secretly he was getting other girls pregnant and telling them to get rid of the baby so that there would be no sign, so that he can get secretly married to her. Like Chloe, there's so many of these flipping signs to get away from this man, but you just don't listen. And what's worse is True's gonna wake up and see all of this mess one day. Let me know your thoughts, out, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.